I'm excited to be here with Robert Patterson. He is the CEO of Kids Can Community Center. Robert, it's so good to see you. So good to see you too. Well, we're here to talk about the holidays, how people can contribute back to the organization. But first, tell us about the mission of Kids Can. Sure. At Kids Can, our mission is to educate, engage, and inspire children through early childhood care and out of school experiences. So at our main center, uh, that means, you know, right now, kids as young as 18 months up to five years old for uh, child care, toddler, preschool, pre-K. And for our school agers, that means before school, after school, uh, full day program, anytime school is closed, like right now during the Thanksgiving breaks or summer breaks or spring breaks, not everybody has grandma down the street to come help them out. So we wanna make sure we're there for families during that time. And then in addition to that, we're at seven school sites doing after school programs in North and South Omaha, most of them in North Omaha. So we've had quite a bit of expansion just in the past uh, 10 years or so. Well, yeah, I know you have had quite a bit and there's even a bigger story coming coming up, but um, let's talk about, so for the holidays, how can people contribute, whether financially or bringing actual gifts? Let us know. Absolutely, so yeah, obviously we love the financial gifts, especially at the end of the year. Um, it helps us, we definitely, we pass that on to our families. Uh, as you know, uh, with childcare at our center, uh, not all families have childcare subsidies and some people have private pay, but a lot of people fall in that gap in the middle and we like to use people's donations to kind of give scholarships to those families, mm -hmm. and especially uh, during the holidays and especially during hardships. Um, so we'll come, we have a special hardship scholarship. So as we know, sometimes it only takes one event, uh, either medical something or something or kind of a job change to really disrupt a, a family's life. And so we wanna make sure that the child's care and continuity is not disrupted just because life around them is changing. So, so definitely, yeah, donations, whether it be on Giving Tuesday or after, uh, we'll definitely accept those. So, um, and right now our holidays this year are a little bit different because uh, we are gearing up uh, for our new building. So uh, yeah. we will be uh, in our new building January 4th. So right now all roads <laughs> lead right. to that for staff. Sure. And uh, I could talk a little bit more about that, but uh, what we're most excited, obviously, new building, obviously, it's going to be a better quality programming. We're going to double our capacity, uh, double the number of you know, kids we're able to serve. And for the first time, we're going to expand down to infant care. You know, infant care, okay. is that no matter what income you make, um, that we really wanted to kind of do our part and kind of expand our, our pipeline for families for child care there. Um, that's so exciting. And I know we're going to have a much deeper conversation about that um, once you get into the building. Um, but again, you know, that costs money and, and because you're going to be able to serve so many more um, um, children, you know, that that requires more funds. Absolutely. The other thing uh, we're kind of pushing this year is to give the gift of mentoring. So mm, there's yeah program that really took a hit because of COVID, it was mentoring. And not just the kids can, but all of our mentoring organizations. Yeah. Uh, now that we're kind of back to uh, our new normal of in-person, uh, we're really ready to kind of reboot that. We've hired a new mentoring coordinator and we have great mentoring spaces in our new building uh, that are specifically made kind of little mentoring niches. So um, I really ask people, you know, an, an hour a week or four hours a month, uh, sometimes it seems like a lot. We certainly find time to, uh, for Netflix <laughs> sure. every weekend. So I said it can be done. Um, but knowing that one on one impact that you're making uh, on a child is just uh, it is so huge compared yeah. to anything else that you can do. So I would really say, you know, if you can give the gift of mentoring, give the gift of time this year, this is something that will really make a difference. Yeah, I'm so glad you brought that up, Robert. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me. Again, a quick chat, but at the end of the year, people are looking to give back. Um, uh, again, 24-7, 365, um, it's always needed, but just putting a little bug in their in their ear. So kids can, my friends, kids can. So Robert, thank you so much. Thank you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. And folks, we'll be right back.